Well, how do there, chums? I'm about to key in. Quite an important portal code, people inside the universe. Yes, so somebody hit me up the other day. And Backyard Gallifreyan is their name. And that's what they go by. And they found a planet. And they're thinking we could do a Halloween sort of event. You know, bases, so I can do tours and stuff. They also go by the Twitch name of Primal Nerds. So... Awesome. I'll put the names on the screen so you can see the spellings of them and that. But here we go. Here's the actual portal code. Now, this is actually in Euclid. So let's go jumping over and let's go and activate the code. The first four, Diplo, Sunset, a Beetle, and a box of a brick in it. Coolio. Next four, Sunday Set, a Dragony Fly, another Sunset, and a Diplomando. The last four... A pigeon, Benjamin Boatface, a TP or Vic Vam, and another box of a brick in it. Now this is inside of the Euclid system. It's quite a spooky planet. It's a planet though that's uh, this be troubled by storms. Let's put it that way. It's a little bit aggressive. You might want to come here in creative mode and build in creative mode because it's going to be hell on earth building in any other. There you go, we've got my merch mug with my ship on. Pretty nice. Oh, hold on. We've arrived, Kated. Yeah, so it says discovered there by Jopper333. So Jopper333. This is an awesome planet. I guess it is. And, um, yeah, I've got my own brew of tea, people. My own brew of tea. Links are in the video description. I guess. And grab yourself a mug. Anyway, anyway, shameless plug over. We've got this lovely, beautiful planet here. Now, it has got water on. At least I'm assured it's got water on. But look at it. It's just bleak as fudge. And, you know, there's no trees or anything like that. It's just really, really dodgy looking. There's beetles on this planet as well. Not this one. There's a beetle. Coolio. So, I'm going to find a place to put a base. Now, the idea is, come here and build something really super spooky. Okay? Halloween! Halloween! Yeah, spooky ass! Now, I'm hoping to do base tours towards the end of October, but it might be early November when I do the base tours. Depends. Yeah, I've got a trip to India to do. And also, I'm, I, I kind of think there's going to be another update to No Man's Sky very soon. Oh, I would love to find a cave that's got water in. That would be freaking... Hold on. Is that water? No, it's not. That's bedrock. All right, I need to go near to a coastline and see if I can find a nice cave. The caves here are freaking awesome. I could build like a little, I don't know, Yoda hut. Yeah! And maybe put a spider in there or something creepy. Yeah! Okay, cool. I'll go and find a location and I'll be right back with you people. Oh, chums, this planet looks freaking groovy when there's a storm in. And, and look at some of the terrain here. Look at those things. And it's freaking cool, isn't it? Okay, so I found like a little lake here. And I'm hoping I can find a cave somewhere around here. We will see if I get lucky. I don't really want to have to make my own. I might be able to find one, though. Is that a submerged relic? It is. 135 views. Let's go and have a look at that. I'm going to have to dig to it, though. All right, here we go. I'll see you guys in a bit. Chums, there's a submerged relic. And look, I think it has water. It does have water. Sweet. OK, well, I can make a little fishing nook here. Uh, I just need to flatten this out. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Brilliant, eh? Well, how do there, chums? Right, well, my little base has been built located on this beautiful, lovely, hellish planet. It does look good at sunset, sunrise, different times of the day. It's freaking epic, in fact. Anyhow, I've got my little land pad here. I mean, the storm's about to clear, so we should be able to see just how epic this looks without the storm. But it still looks good in a storm. Anyway, we'll see it when we emerge from the cave, probably. So here we go. We go through here and then into this cave. Cool. You can head on down here, and this takes you to a little mini grotto that I've made, which has got like a little landing platform where you can fish, which is pretty darn cool. So let's head on over here. Because fishing's a new element, I wanted to have a, a fishing platform in here. So you've got this little uh, mezzanine that goes out this way. It's got a lovely little chair there, a bait box, and a bait finder. And here we go, we can 
cast into there. Catch ourselves a lovely fishy. I guess. Cool, yeah. Might as well catch a fish, mightn't we? You can see down to the right of me, just, just there, there's a crashed ship inside of this pond as well. Pretty lovely. Ha <laughs> ha. Very cool. Almost like I was trying to, you know, like in Yoda's sort of like little swamp where Luke crashes his ship. I was thinking like that sort of thing. I mean, yeah, it's not as cool as that, but there we go. Got a fish. Lovely. And then we can head on over this way. And inside of here, we've got a little bed, a nutrient processor, and some bits of computer, like robot component that we've found. Cool. And over this way, we've got a robot spider, which I think is pretty cool. And I've done these as sort of like little legs. Yeah, it's got little mandibles that move. Very cool. Um, oh, fell down here. Oh, yeah, down there is the actual portal to the base. So pretty nice. And there's like a biofuel reactor so you can power it. And then there's this way. You follow up the flaming barrels. Hop -ja! Here we go. We're going to fly up here. Darn, there's another storm rolled in. Oh, okay. There are very frequent storms here, people. You're probably going to have to build in creative mode. And here we go. Let's see if we can get out before the storm actually lands. Look at that vista. Look at that. Look at that. As the sun's coming up there. Oh, that is just beautifully timed. With all these beetles flying around. Anyway, let's go into camera mode quickly. Let's swing this around the other way. Because I've got this giant skull there. And skeleton of like a giant worm. I've called this the Worm Hunter's Grotto and Lodge. And up here is where the lodge is. And it's got beautiful views from inside of this lodge as well. So you can head inside of here. Boom. We've got a little fireplace adorned with beetle heads. A chimney. Yeah, there's actual smoke that comes out the chimney. But look at that vista out there. Isn't that nice? Very cool. I've got like a little bedroll. Got a little mini bar. We've got like a little chart for shooting the beetles. A map to find them. Yeah, pretty lovely. And all my multi tools on the wall. And a little beetly chart as well for beetles downed, I guess. So yeah, beetles and worm hunting lodge. Mainly because we've got these flying worms out of the window here. And we've also got the beetles as well. So pretty darn sweet. Hmm. I'm saying that the uh, the worms haven't been found. It says discovered by Captain Steve. I wonder if I can name them. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I can. I can rename them. Ha! Brilliant. Okay, I have named them. I've named the beetle Beautiful Barry. <laughs> My brother's called Barry. And then I've named the worm Majestic Craig. <laughs> My other brother's called Craig. There we go. Brilliant, eh? Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. They don't play this game. No, they won't even. They won't even know that that happened. Okay. Right. There we go. So there we are. Done. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Anyway, I gave the portal coordinates at the start, but you know, you, maybe you didn't realise what this event was about. Maybe you need them again. There they are in the bottom left-hand corner. I'll make that a bit bigger for you guys. I hope to see your bases here. Now we did this last Halloween. We did a similar sort of thing. And what we found was when I went to do the base tours, the only bases that I could see were like the last 20 or so that were uploaded. And I had to do the base tours in stages to try and get the majority of them done. And people had to let me know when they'd uploaded their base. So I could quickly jump on over and review it. This year, I think I'll, I'll probably do something similar. So we'll see how it goes when it comes to rendering. But I think this is an awesome planet just because of the wildlife here, because of the vistas, the views. It's it's different. It's a very different planet anyway. I think if you come here, you put down a nice creepy base. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't say my base is overly creepy, to be honest, is it? It's not massively Halloween-y, but because of the actual setting of the planet, it actually makes it feel far more creepier than it is. But I do love this idea of the giant worm skeleton exposed on the mountain like this, and my little fishing grotto below. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave it to you. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I mean, last year there was like occultist churches, uh, creepy churches, haunted mazes. There was all sorts of stuff that people made. Dr. Pong came here. They built an awesome base. Half of it submerged in the ocean. Half of it outside was awesome. There were so many, I think, inside Vortex. There was loads. Anyway, if I can find it. I'll put the Halloween base tours video up here so you can go watch it from the other year and that might give you some inspiration for what to bring to this planet. I guess. I think I even done 
a little mini talk about my old days as a paranormal ghost hunter as I've done the tour. I probably did a similar this year, talk about my own paranormal experiences and make the whole stream feel a little bit more creepy. But anyway, people, there we go. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.